Hi and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to make a video all about the vegan staple foods to have at home, like some basics which are good to always have at home, and the food that I do with food that I buy. I have just got on a food delivery, I got it yesterday, and usually I do a big food delivery like every two weeks, and then I stock up on like things like oats and flour and vegan milk and things like that. I don't live close to any big um, food store, so it's easier to get a food delivery. And then I go to the store and buy things like fresh produce, like fruit if I crave it, a salad, bread as well I buy when I crave it, and things like peppers and tomatoes and that. And then usually I need to buy potatoes and sweet potatoes like once more during the week. So what I have now is just kind of the base and then I like top up when or if I need it. I'm trying to get better at using what I have at home before I buy more, but sometimes I want to make a recipe or a dish. I'm just craving something, so then I'll go buy it. So let's get started. <laughs> Basically, I always have a drink, usually Oatly. I usually use their uh, e-cafe, but that one was, um, it was all gone in their sort of it, so I got their new deluxe one, which this is basically for oats, chia pudding, I need my coffee. I used to drink black coffee, but now I can't drink without milk. Oat cream. Uh, this is awesome for uh, soups, stews. This usually lasts a while. You think I'm sponsored by Oatly, but I'm not, unfortunately. Tofu. Uh, I always have lots of tofu at home because I like I snack on it. It's good for like a quick meal. Either just fry it or just add to like some potatoes or vegetables. I also bought some vegan mar margarine. Uh, this is just for baking and things. It's good if I'm making scones and that, or cookies or whatever. And then vegan creme fraiche. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I basically top all my food with this. Um, I don't know, I love it. Um, a lot of people say that it gives a kind of weird aftertaste, but I love this so much. <laughs> Two types of yogurt. I love these. So this one is this one is more like quark. It's thicker, and this one is more kind of thin, like yogurt. So I love these. Tahini. This is the best tahini ever because it's like runny and it's so good in hummus. I have so much of it, and I drizzle this on top of food. Sesame seeds are a good source of calcium, so I've been adding lots of this to my food. And then just some basics here, like apple cider vinegar, vinegar, soy sauce, liquid smoke, red curry, ginger, lemon juice. I'm sorry that the fridge is open. I'm gonna get complaints on it. I know it's awful. I'm so sorry. The fresh produce makes up a huge part of my diet, so it's always potatoes, the sweet potatoes, onions, red onions. Yellow onions, garlic. I also bought pre cooked beetroots. Uh, this works good as a sauce, as part of the salad, or making beetroot hummus. Carrots, avocados, eggplant. And then I'm gonna buy some like butternut squash, tomatoes, red pepper, salad. They didn't have them in the store that I uh, bought my food from, so I'm gonna go to another store to get them. And then my freezer. My freezer is a mess right now, but basically I have loads of frozen vegetables. Either I buy like these two and a half kilo uh, frozen vegetables, which is just like one vegetable, like frozen broccoli or frozen cauliflower. But now I've bought these mixed ones and I eat a lot of frozen vegetables. I just heat them up. And then it's usually my go-to meal, which you will see when I do my full day of eating and that. But usually I just like eat frozen vegetables. I had some tofu, beans, potatoes, some type of sauce and avocado. And that's 
basically my quick meal which I eat when I don't post my food or when I don't feel like cooking or if I have a meal prepped and need a quick go to lunch. So I have a lot of fruits and vegetables and then some, I usually have some type of fake meat which is always good to have at home according to me. I like eating fake meat. So now I have vegan minced meat, I have fries, chicken pieces and that's what I have right now and it varies which I buy. Sometimes it's like burgers or vegan meatballs or schnitzel or whatever. So. But usually uh, it's a vegan mince meat, I love that one. So that is my fridge and my freezer. Okay, moving on to my cupboards. chia pudding or oatmeal. I usually buy these in like tetra pack or in cans because it's easier and it's good for just like quick go-to meals. Coconut milk, great in soups. Crushed tomatoes, also good in soup. Another tahini, chickpeas. I'll buy chickpeas both in can and uh, dry, which I boil it myself. I buy in can so if I haven't had time to soak and boil the chickpeas, I can still make hummus or... And then some other basics which are always good to have at home. Corn flour. This is good when you're making tofu. You can coat it in some corn flour and it can make it more crispy. And breadcrumbs. Also good to have at home. And these, these last like, forever. And um, sweet corn in the can. I know I'm gonna get comments that I have canned food, but that's just kind of simple. It's easy to go to, and I used to buy plastic, like uh, frozen sweet corn and that. I think it's better to use canned than plastic, but maybe I'm wrong. Okay, this is the cupboard I'm most kind of proud of because I love having food in jars. That's just me. <laughs> Chia seeds, coffee, dried chickpeas, oats, this is peas. I've had these forever because I didn't really like them. I'm gonna boil them and try to make something out of them someday. Sunflower seeds, sesame seeds, red lentils, and then quinoa, uh, pasta, uh, muesli, this cinnamon crisp bread. So usually I vary that some weeks I buy rice cakes, some weeks I buy another form of uh, crisp bread. It's usually what I snack on. And like I mentioned, I usually buy bread when I crave it or I bake scones. Like if I'm feeling, like if I want tortillas or if I want like tacos or burgers, then I'll just go and buy the bread for that. I snack on a lot of nuts. So this is a mix. Vegetable stock. And then just a whole bunch of seasoning. The last cupboard. So in this food delivery, I stocked up on things like sugars. Yeah, sugar, syrup, flour. Uh, just to have like a little bake or whatever. Good to have. I usually have some form of chocolate at home, whether it's like block or it's a like actual vegan chocolate like the chocolate that says vegan on it. But usually dark baking chocolate is vegan. Just check to make sure. Put a sweet treat when I crave it. <coughs> so there you see the standard foods which I pretty much always have at home. This is kind of the base which I buy and always have at home and then I top off the things that I need. So the vegan staples I would say you should always have at home. Vegetables potatoes and different root vegetables, oats, lentils, beans. It's cheaper to buy dried beans and boil yourself, but you can always do, but you can always buy canned ones as well if it saves you time. Fruit and frozen vegetables are always good to have at home as well. And I know I'll get the question if I don't eat or why I don't have any fruit at home. And that is because I don't really crave fruit. I have some frozen raspberries at home which I top my like oatmeal or chia pudding with. But if I'm craving fruit, I'll just go buy it. But I'm more of a like, vegetable lover. I know that I should eat more fruit, but I feel like I get all my vitamins and minerals anyway. Other, other basics to have at home, 
crushed tomatoes, coconut milk, some type of nut or seed. There's so many vitamins, nutrients, and healthy fats. So it's good to have things like oat milk, vegan butter, vegan cheese, baked meats. They're not a necessity to have at home, but if you can afford them and you like them, it can be good, it can make life easier. But you can, of course, skip vegan butter, you can make your own vegan cheese, you can make your own oat milk or almond milk and things, so you don't have to buy the pre-made ones. Other good options are things like tofu or tempeh. They are a good source of protein, easy to eat, you can marinate them and cook them and prepare them in different ways. Also, I live on my own and I have a student food budget, so I can't buy like an endless amount of food. And there are some foods which maybe I want to have or would like to eat, but it's not really my budget. Usually I eat the same foods kind of over and over. I find something I like and I want to keep eating it. But I try to vary, but like one week I'll eat a lot of white potatoes, another week a lot of sweet potatoes, one week I'll eat a lot of broccoli. One of my best tips when you're like me, eating on the student budget, uh, just cooking food for one, or like 10, because I can't seem to cook for one, is to vary so that like one week you'll eat red lentils, another week green lentils, one week a lot of white potatoes, another week a lot of sweet potatoes, and just like vary the things you can so that you get different vitamins and minerals. So variation is key, so even if you can't eat so varied each day, at least the weeks will be different. Like if you meal prep and just eat the same thing all week, the next week you can meal prep something different, get different vitamins and minerals and stay healthy. <laughs> anyway, that was my video for today. I hope you liked it. I'd love to know what some of your vegan staples are. So comment down below, like, subscribe and thank you so much for watching. Also, I'd love to know if your opinion on me has changed since I've started YouTube and if I like the same as I appear online. Um, it would be very, very interesting to know. And I'm trying to get more comfortable. I'm trying to get more comfortable with filming and being myself in front of the camera, but I'm still learning, but it's gonna be a progress. I'm gonna, my editing skills are gonna get better. I'm gonna get more comfortable. I'm gonna try to do a day in my life, what I eat and things like that. I'm still not fully comfortable filming out in public and things like that, but I will try. Uh, so I'd love to know what your opinion on me is. Please be kind. Like if it has changed since I've started filming myself. <laughs>